Hey, uh, today we're gonna talk about something I think funny. So in the United States there is a way of saying that I believe it states like that Americans prefer to have to do with the IRS, which is the tax agency, rather than having to do with the dentist. <laughs> so that's really funny. So in this video, I want to talk to you about how artificial intelligence is going to change your experience at the dentist. <laughs> and we're gonna have fun, okay? So stay tuned. First thing is what's gonna happen at the dentist, what's gonna be different. So the things are gonna be different fundamentally is that the dentist will utilize automation to do the x-ray. So the x-ray analysis is gonna be done by the artificial intelligence in part, which will augment the judgment of the dentist. So the dentist now uh, basically, the, he, he will have the ability to have an advisor on the part of artificial intelligence or even that process could be completely automated and the artificial intelligence decides what you need to have done in your mouth. Now, uh, alongside with that, the way that the dentist is going to interact with the, the machines rather than using the mouse is going to be through voice and there are already startups doing these things, okay? So it seems this is where things are going. There is a portion in remote medicine where you could use your iPhone to look into uh, your mouth and then ship the pictures to the dentist. The dentist, the AI will kind of give some level of diagnostics to the dentist and then the dentist will call you in and, and know what you, you're going to do. So basically, if you like, it's a little bit of process innovations. This we have already seen in other fields of medicine. So the other big area um, where things are going to change is in the orthodontics basically you know the crowns when they put you the crowns in so there are labs to create those things and the entire process can be much improved from a viewpoint of precision so reducing cost is there and also from viewpoint of creating these uh, uh, prosthetics uh, much quicker um, eliminating basically the uh, errors the human errors that goes into this process so that's fundamentally utilizing in the end of the day is at the end of the day is utilizing computer vision to avoid the elements of variations and error that is introduced by um, fundamentally by human beings and so and finally um, according to what I have found in this sector and there are companies doing this really uh, I don't want to mention them right now but maybe in another video I'll do um, the, this is the analysis of the claim, the insurance claim. Again, insurance, if you remember one of my videos, is one of the areas in medicine where it, it's highly overlooked by people that are outside, but that's really where there is a lot of opportunities for AI product managers, even other scientists to go. So for insurance, it's basically is automating the, um, the processing of the claim. Somebody has to look before, see if the doctor is doing the right thing, if this thing is paid or not. But now with computer vision, Basically, they can see if uh, that pr procedure is needed and uh, the uh, claim is completely automated and uh, scanned so the artificial intelligence makes the decision. So, long story short, here is what I would say my summary is. The first thing is that the innovation here is in the process. You've seen three different cases where process innovation is key. So it's not just artificial intelligence, but it's how the process gets changed. So remember about that. Second thing is innovation is about augmenting the work of specialized human, either the dentist. So it's not like replacing completely, but it's kind of augmenting the work of, of, of the dentist or augmenting the work of the insurance specialist or augmenting the work in the lab that produces the, um, the prosthetic. So this is really a perfect example of the things we have been talking in the other videos about augmented intelligence, about the economic impact of, uh, of AI into the higher level type of job to the higher level type of activities. The third thing is, again, I would say this, if you really noticed here, in my opinion, the level of uh, innovation, if you like, or the level at which we're solving problems in, this, uh, in the case of dentistry, is not as massive as in other cases we have seen where really artificial intelligence make a big impact. So I think there is a, an opportunity to uh, go and look at the processes that are used in this industry even deeper to further uh, disrupt and improve 
process effectiveness, that uh, efficiency that can be brought to, to the marketplace. And to do that, uh, you know, you can do it as a product manager, for example, you can do it um, also as a, some kind of a technical consultant, an innovator in that space. And if you want to do it deeply and quickly and you're just starting in this field, then take a look at my course because it's really designed to give you the mindset and the technical instruments to do this type of things, like thinking, thinking how to create and innovate processes with artificial intelligence. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.